principles. We're going to start first with the challenger. I've been looking at this gentleman over the years, and uh, he can bring it. There's no doubt about it. You know, as you heard Barry say, he's explosive. You know, I um, saw when he stopped uh, Julio Diaz on television, you know, left hook to the body, <coughs> and just walked away like he just knew it. You know, he's got that swag, you know. He was uh, former uh, number one. Uh, rated in the world by the WBC, number one now by the IBF, and that's why he's fighting for this belt. A former WBO junior welterweight champion of the world himself, please welcome to the microphone, Kendall R. Rated Ho! How's everybody today? All right. I, I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to be fighting for the championship of the world. Um, you know, it just helped, it just so happened that it's against Lamont Peterson. Uh, I'm a I'm a fan of Lamont's. I'm a fan of Barry Hunter, his brother Anthony. I've been a fan for a long time. Uh, but you know, this is business, and you know, I know he's going to bring it, and I'm coming to bring it. Uh, you know, we shared a training camp before. I think this is going to be the first time since since I've met him, or I, since he's turned pro that I haven't been rooting for him to win. I rooted for him against Amir Khan, uh, some of his other big fights, but I think this is gonna be the first time I'm rooting for him to lose. Uh, this, fight, this, this fight can change my life, so I have to take it serious. Um, I was able to go to training camp. I've never really been able to, I never really had that, that luxury like some other fighters to go away to training camp. Uh, I've been raising my son by myself uh, for about eight years now, since he was two. So, you know, when he started school, it's, it, you know, it's hard to get away at times and, you know, go to the gym and things like that. My son's nine now. And uh, through the grace of God and family and friends and, you know, a good manager, uh, I was able to go away and train uh, for this life-changing experience in the fight that's gonna happen Friday night. So I just wanted to let everybody know to come out. If you can't come out, tune in ESPN. It's, it's definitely going to be a fight. It's a great fight. Lamont Peterson is always in shape. You know, we know what he's going to. You know, he's going to bring it. He's going to come and come and come. Uh, throw them shot, them hard body shots to the to the belly, and you know, he's he's going to keep coming all night. He's going to be all night. A lot of people ask me. They say, um, do you, you know you're a big puncher? Everybody knows that. It's not. It's no secret. Do I expect to knock Lamont out? I don't. You know, usually I go into every fight. And because I have a job, and this job, no matter how early I leave, I'm still gonna get paid. So, you know, that's the benefit of boxing. But because Lamont's so resilient, he's always in shape, I know he's gonna be there to the 12th round. So, this is actually gonna be the first fight. I've been pro 12 years. This is gonna be the first fight that I've ever walked in the ring with an actual game plan. So. You know, uh, that, that's how serious I took this fight. That uh, it's a fight that could change my life, my kids' life, and I've I've taken every precaution, and every step to ensure victory. So now I just got to go out Friday night and do what I'm uh, trained to do. Thanks. Thank you, Kim. I love you like a younger brother, but you know plans change when you get hit. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> you know, is John? Did John make it back? No. Okay. Mike Tyson said everybody got a plan until they get punched in the nose. This is true. This is true. This gentleman's story, as Barry said, well chronicled. Uh, he's uh, just a role model to many. You know, certainly a, a, a motivator to any youth that had any adversities or going through some adversities. And it's just a story that's it's going to be a storybook finish. It's a film in the, in the works for it. It's certainly a documentary. There's no doubt about that. It's right in itself. You know, I'm just just honored to be a part of it. You know, homegrown, Southeast DC, Naylor Road, I mean, well known. Why are you laughing at? <laughs> you know, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you know, just, um, and everybody embraces him, you know, because he's a good guy on top of being a great fighter. You know, we certainly know that there are greater things and works for him. You know, he's got to get by Kendall Hope. And as Kendall says, it's business. So I think he's going to take care of some business. Coming to the mic at this time, ladies and gentlemen, please rise and give a rousing round of applause for the reigning, defending IBF 
junior welterweight champion of the world, the Mount Happy Peterson. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, you know it's fight week, so this won't be long. Um, what, this is a fight? This. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully the fight go a few rounds. But, um, you know, Cologne and Barry took care of all the thanks for me, so I really don't have to thank too many people. But I just wanted to say, you know, thank God for you know, allowing us to be here. Um, as for the fight, I don't have to tell y'all that I'm ready or kid ready. You know, y'all know I, I, I prepared myself the best way I know how. And just get ready for a good fight Friday. Uh, that's all I have to say. Okay. That's the way he's always been. That's right. Truth to yourself.